Am I the asshole for deleting my friend's wedding photos in front of them? I'm not really a photographer, I'm a dog groomer. I take lots of photos of dogs all day to put on my Facebook and Instagram. It's my thing, if that makes sense. A cut and a photo with every appointment. I very seldom shoot things other than dogs, even if I have a nice setup. A friend got married a few days ago and wanted to save money, asked if I shoot it for them. I told him it's not really my forte, but he convinced me by saying he didn't care if they were perfect. They were on a shoestring budget, and I agreed to shoot it for $250, which is nothing for a 10-hour event. On the day of, I'm driving around following the bride as she goes from appointment to appointment before the ceremony, taking photos along the way. I shoot the ceremony itself, and during the reception, I'm shooting speeches and people mingling. I started around 11 a.m. and was due to finish around 7.30 p.m. Around 5 p.m., food is being served, and I was told I cannot stop to eat because I need to be a photographer. In fact, they didn't save me a spot at any table. I'm getting tired and at this point kind of regretting doing this for next to nothing. It's also unbelievably hot. The venue is at an old Veterans Legion and it's like 110 degrees and there's no AC. I told the groom I need to take off for 20 minutes to get something to eat and drink. There's no open bar or anything. I can't even get water and my two water bottles are long empty. He tells me I need to either be a photographer or leave without pay. With the heat, being hungry, being generally annoyed at the circumstances, I asked if he was sure, and he said yes. So I deleted all the photos I took in front of him and took off saying, I'm not his photographer anymore. If I was to be paid $250, honestly at that point, I would have paid $250 for just a glass of cold water and somewhere to sit for five minutes. Was I the asshole? They went right on their honeymoon and they've been all off of social media, but a lot of people I've been posting on their wall asking about the photos with zero responses. Am I the asshole for firing an employee after his parents died? I'm the VP of sales at a software company, and one of our sales development rep's parents passed away at the beginning of April. Sadly, they were involved in a car crash and both lost their lives. Now the employee in question is a very young 22-year-old guy and has been with us for about 10 months now. He's a great employee, and we were thinking about promotions in the next six months for him. His job is a high-paying one for a new grad, around 90000 with commission and base, so we expect a lot from this position. Because of the accident, we let him take one month paid leave of absence from work, and he's returned a few weeks ago, and his performance is severely lacking. He's super unmotivated, not cold calling, out reaching out to prospects for the last two to three weeks enough since he's come back. Our whole management team has noticed this and we decided to let him go because we feel like he'd need months and months to be able to produce again and we can't just wait that long. We called him into a meeting on Friday afternoon and gave him the bad news. He was very calm and rude about it, told us to go fuck ourselves and got up and went to his desk, grabbed his few things and left. I thought this was very, very unprofessional and extremely rude. I told my boyfriend about all of this and he said myself and my management team are a bunch of asses and pricks with no hearts. Am I wrong for my reaction when I learned that my fiancé returned my wedding dress and replaced it with the one his mom picked out for me? My fiancé, male 33, and I, female 28, are getting married in December. His mom is the intrusive type, but she's nice overall and we somewhat get along. I hate to admit that wedding planning has been an absolute nightmare. His mom wasn't willing to agree on most things and my fiancé said that since he's her only son, then I should respect and appreciate this vision she has for the wedding and how it should be. My vision is the only one that matters because I'm the one getting married. That's it. Class. She insisted to come along for wedding dress shopping. I took her with me and my mom and friends. I was so lucky to have found what I was looking for, but she picked a dress that she liked so much and said that she always pictured her son's bride in it. Mom and friends thought this line was creepy. I thought the dress was somewhat creepy and totally not my type. I apologized and thanked her for her vision, but told her that I'd already decided on a dress that I had envisioned myself wearing at my wedding. He came home in the evening ranting about how I made his mom upset and turned down her help in choosing the wedding dress and excluded her from the process. I asked, what process? Duh, it's just a wedding dress my wedding dress so i really didn't get how she should get a say at all he got upset and said that this attitude of mine isn't working on him or his mom he said that i should consider the dress his mom wanted to buy especially knowing that both dresses weren't that much different anyway like she said but i told him yes they were different like so much different anyways we argued about it then we dropped it yesterday i came home and found out that he had returned my wedding dress and replaced it with the one his mom wanted oh my god see if that was me you would have caught some hands. I would have been pissed.
I called him and he was straightforward about what he did and why he did it. I lost it and started screaming at him. He asked me to calm down and really give this dress a chance. I refused to even listen. I screamed at him without giving him a chance to speak. He got home and we had an argument. I then went to stay with one of my friends and he kept calling and calling and then texting saying that I was overreacting and that it's his wedding too so it wasn't cool how I screamed at him. He insisted I give this dress a chance. He went on and on about how his mom had a vision and good intentions and just wants what's best for me as her future daughter-in-law. My mom is livid and has been wanting to go scream at him and his mom, but my dad said that this isn't worth ruining my relationship with my in-laws over. He suggested I wisen up and go with the flow, but is it too much for me to be able to pick up my own wedding dress without being guilted about it just to keep the peace? Am I the asshole for my reaction? Girl. Good luck. Couldn't be me. I'm going to divorce my husband of 10 years. My husband and I met when I was 18. It had always been just me and my best friend, but when my husband came along, we became an inseparable trio. For me, it was love at first sight. I had the biggest crush on him, but didn't want to ruin the friendship thing we had, so I kept it to myself until he confessed to me when we were 20. Things went fast, and we got married when we were 22. My best friend got married too, and we have all remained close. We had invited my best friend and her husband around for dinner, and we were joking about things when my husband brought up how he had always had a crush on my best friend, but then she got a boyfriend so he settled for me instead when i tell you my whole world just came crashing down i realized my marriage of 10 years was him settling for second best that i was never his first option after that everything he did just started to annoy me and he just stopped being attractive to me anymore we haven't slept together in six months because i feel so disgusted i just want out i feel like i've wasted my life i'm disappointed in him and myself for believing i was the one he liked so the funny thing about this is that this post somehow got back to the husband so he made a reply post and he says i destroyed my marriage with a stupid comment and a one night stand so i found my wife's post i'm going to divorce my husband of 10 years Someone made a video about it and that video got back to me. I would like to tell my side. When I met my wife, I didn't really think much of her. She was funny, kind, and a good friend, but I had no interest in her. Her friend Sarah was gorgeous. She had long red hair and these soft freckles and long lashes. She was my dream girl, but she was not interested in me. I noticed my wife, Amber, was hanging out with me more, laughing at my jokes, listening to me, and it made me consider having more of a relationship with her. Sarah got a boyfriend about a year into us being friends and her interest in our friendship got dwindled. She hung out with us less and spent more time with her boyfriend which left me and Amber alone a lot. I ended up giving up on Sarah and focusing on Amber and we started dating and got married. We kept our friendship with Sarah but we focused on each other. In the back of my mind though it's always felt like I had missed out on something. My marriage was boring. Amber and I were basically friends and I was working hard to save for a house and she was working hard to save for future kids so we were existing alongside each other not actually together. So one day when we were at dinner I got jealous of Sarah and her husband who seemed happy and made a comment about settling for Amber. Amber shut down after that. She kept repeating the same questions over and over and it would make me so angry that I didn't want to answer. So I didn't. I guess that was my first bad move. Sarah messaged me after dinner to check if I was okay and we kept messaging. She was just reassuring me that I did nothing wrong and it would work out. Then I got a text saying Amber was planning to divorce me. So Sarah came over and we tried to stop her from leaving me but it seemed to only make things worse. Sarah saw how distraught I was and stayed to comfort me and we drank and in one stupid drunk mistake we ended up sleeping together. <gasps> Oh my god, you asshole. Sarah confessed to her husband that we slept together and her husband told Amber, Now both of our marriages are ruined. I regret it so much and I just wish I could take it all back. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. To, oh, what a Am I wrong for telling my friend that her success is built on handouts and she doesn't get to make comments on other people? At an event, we bumped into some friends from high school. One of them mentioned she finished nursing school and when we went to my house after the event, she made a very rude comment. Ellie said I bet she was too dumb to get into medical school. I told Ellie what she said was rude and uncalled for and Ellie said it was the truth. I told her she only became a doctor by getting handouts and you don't get to make comments about other people. She told me I'm a jerk for undermining her hard work and that she still had to work for where she is now. I said I know but most people don't have parents who can pay for all of their tuition and living expenses. She called me a jerk and said I'm ignorant and that she still had to work hard. Am I wrong for telling my friend her success is built on handouts and she doesn't get to make comments? I have a friend, Ellie, that I've known since we were seven and our mothers are good friends. She has a very privileged life and her dad is a lawyer and her mom is a dentist, so you can imagine. She grew up going to private schools, having private tutors, going on fancy vacations and everything like that. I had pretty much the opposite. She never had to get a job until she went into residency and medical school when she was 26. When we finished high school at 18, Ellie initially went into business school for two years before dropping out. 
Then pursuing medical school, her parents paid all of her tuition and all of her expenses. And Ellie is now a qualified pediatrician.